10 Best Places to Visit in Ecuador Ecuador is a country that offers something for everyone. This begins with almost a thousand miles of coastline, with great beaches, then to the Andes Mountains and the tropical Amazon rainforest. It even extends out to the remote Galapagos Islands with its fantastic wildlife. In between, visitors will find large cities offering luxurious amenities, as well as small native villages known for its colorful markets. Mindo Mindo offers environmentally conscious travelers the best of two biodiversified ecosystems, the tropical Andes and the Chocoan lowlands. Here, visitors will see cloud forests, farmlands and three major rivers. One of Ecuador's most popular tourist destinations, Mindo provides a wide variety of outdoor activities, ranging from rafting and bird watching to mountain biking, horseback riding and hiking. Travelers who prefer less strenuous activities may enjoy learning about chocolate, from the cocoa bean to the finished product, at El Quetzal del Mindo, a chocolatier. Guayaquil As Ecuador's largest city, with almost 2.7 million people, this is the commercial heart of Ecuador. Located on the banks of the Guayas River that leads to the Pacific Ocean, the city was founded in 1538 by the Spanish conquistor Francisco de Orellana. The Park Historico Guayaquil offers colonial buildings, lodge gardens, and animals native to the country. Also, most visitors like the free admission. Las Peñas is a colorful old neighborhood with a lighthouse and great views over the city. Melecon 2000 is a boardwalk along the river, is a great place to end the day. Salinas Salinas is the westernmost city in Ecuador, sitting on the Pacific Ocean, which makes it popular with surfers and yachters. Ecuador's most popular beach resort, the city offers some great beaches. It is also known as Little Miami Beach because of its high-rise condominiums dotting the shoreline. It is also home to La Chocolatera, which has nothing to do with chocolate, but is a beach where turtles lay their eggs, which means tourists need permission to enter. The best time to enjoy Salinas is between December and early January. Kilotoa Loop Hikers who enjoy trekking through the backcountry surely will enjoy the Kilatoa Loop, a trail that takes visitors through several of Ecuador's remote Aden villages. Hiking the loop can take up to four days, but can take less time if hikers take a bus between points. However, they would be missing out on some of the ancient trails if they did this. The views of the Cracker Lake in Kilotoa are nothing short of a spectacular. Also, villages host colorful markets throughout the week. Rio Bamba this city in the Aden Highlands is notable for a couple of reasons. One is its proximity to the Chamborazo, Ecuador's highest mountain, that stands 6,268 meters above sea level. It is also very popular with hikers, who often begin the trek at 1 am in order to watch the sunrise. Secondly, it is the starting point for the spectacular train ride to Nariz del Diablo, Devil's Nose, that passes through both mountains and cloud forests. Baños The city of Baños lies at the foot of the active volcano Tungurawa. Named after the hot springs fed by the thermal waters of the volcano, Baños is the most popular place to visit in Ecuador. Known as the gateway to the Amazon, Baños is a favorite departure point for jungle tours. Waterfalls cascading thousands of feet down deep river gorges attract sighters as well. The thunderous Payón del Diablo waterfall in over a gorge where the Rio Verde and Rio Pastaza meet is the most impressive. Cuenca Cuenca, the capital of Azuay province, is noted for its many old colonial buildings. It is a classic example of a planet renaissance town in the Americas. Cuenca shares many architectural features with Old Quinto. Its narrow cobble streets, Balconied houses with interior courtyards and white churches are also presented without the pollution, noise and crowded of the capital. The city is popular with retired Americans and is known for its colorful festivals in January and November. The largest Inca ruins in Ecuador are nearby at the Canar Plantation. Otavalo Otavalo is home to one of the most colorful important weekly markets in the Andes. It's the place to go for traditional handmade craft items, including the exquisite textiles the city is known for, leather goods and jewelry. The market has been going on for centuries, since even before the Incas. It's a photographer's paradise with Ecuadorans wearing their traditional clothing and snow-covered mountains as a background. The main market takes place on Saturdays. However, travelers may be also able to find handcrafts at other times in the Plaza de los Ponchos. Quito 
The Ecuadorian capital of Quito is the highest capital city in the world. The cosmopolitan city of 2.2 million people is located on an active volcano section of the Andes. Quito has one of the largest and best preserved historic districts in South America. Founded in 1534, it contains no fewer than 20 Catholic churches from the colonial era. And despite intensive restoration, the old town retains the vibrant working class and indigenous character that has always defined it. Caron de Le Palace, the seat of Ecuador's government, is located in the historic area. Galapagos Islands The Galapagos Islands are a remote but beautiful archipelago of 19 islands, lying on the equator some 600 miles west of Ecuador. Isolated from the continental mainland, these islands are home to unique wildlife not found anywhere else in the world. Today, the islands are a popular tourist destination. Some of the most visited include Santa Cruz, which is home to giant tortoises, lava tubes and Charles Darwin Research Center. Santa Cruz also offers the most hotels and tour operations. Although only a few of the islands are populated, there are a couple of towns on the archipelago that offer restaurants, bars and hotels. Lourdes, Puerto Ayura, Puerto Baquireza Moreno and Puerto Villamil. Cruises are the only way to explore the islands. There are a great number of tour operations working out of Quito. Guayaquil and Puerto Ayora. Operations range from small yachts to luxury cruise ships, and tours can vary from one day to several days.